throw some twitches in it and then pause and then jerk it in and go a little bit faster. Do what the fish, you know, find out what the fish really want. Setting the hook with Jose. What's up everyone, it's Jose and welcome to Setting the Hook. Um, you know, I thought about this top three and I think it's very important to go over because I see that a lot of anglers kind of make this mistake. So like, what am I doing wrong? I'm doing the right techniques. I'm looking for the right things. What am I doing wrong? So I figured, hey, these are my top three mistakes that a lot of fishermen do on the retrieval of their specific baits. So if you haven't already done it, please like and subscribe to like this video and subscribe to the Cascading channel to stay up to date with the latest news, tips, tricks, product releases, and everything. So go ahead and do me a favor and hit that like and that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's go to the top three mistakes that a lot of fishermen make on the retrieve. So right now I'm using the Speed Demon bass rod jig worm rod the 72 i've got that paired with the bassinator i've got the flora coat 15 pound test line and i'm just throwing a regular texas rig so number three mistake that a lot of anglers are doing they're going too slow so there's a time and place to go slow you know pr pretty much myself i am a very methodical fisherman i like to drag that bait across the bottom you know what i mean just drag it I don't ever, very rarely, when it comes to a Texas rig, any type of jig head, any type of shaky head, anything like that, am I retrieving that bait with the reel? And you know, there is an old saying that says, if you're going too slow, if you think you're going too slow, go slower. But there's actually a time and a place for that. In fact, sometimes I look over at my son and he's catching fish over at the other side of the lake or the other side of the pond and he's catching fish, but he's going crazy. So he's doing this. So you know what? If you're out there and you're fishing and you're dragging that bait across the bottom nice and methodically and slowly, and you're not catching fish, then guess what? That just may not be the presentation that those fish are looking for. So go ahead and try to just maybe go a little bit faster. Maybe throw some twitches in it and then pause and then jerk it in and go a little bit faster. Do what the fish, you know, find out what the fish really want. Number two mistake, you're going too fast. A lot of other times I'll see people doing this on the wrong technique. If it's not a swim bait, a jerk bait, or a re reactionary bite bait, then why are fishermen doing this? Go ahead and get another cast out there. There's a time and a place to be jerking it around, flipping it around, but a lot of times, especially depending on the weather, you don't wanna be jerking around, retrieving real fast, cause it's just gonna zoom by the fish and the fish, especially bigger ones, they're not gonna go put themselves out of that predatory zone or out of their bed or out of their little hunting spot to go chase after that, that particular bait. So sometimes you're just going too fast. So going too fast is definitely number two on my uh, list. So what's number one? What is number one on my list of fishermen doing wrong in the retrievals? They're not mixing up and not listening to exactly what the fish want. Let the fish tell you what they want. Sometimes they want it fast. Sometimes they want it slow. Sometimes they want you to mix it up. Yeah, there's times when you need to shake it, but there's also times where you need to pause it and just drag it across the bottom. Nothing's gonna exactly tell you whether to go fast or whether to go slow. You know who's gonna tell you on what you need to do? The fish are gonna tell you what to do. Let them tell you what they want. So mix it up. The only thing that you're gonna be able to figure that out, depending on the weather, barometric pressure, the exact body of water that you're fishing, the type of technique that you're utilizing, guess what? That's time out on the water. So get out there on the water and fish. Again, this is Jose with Setting the Hook and see y'all next time.